What? What? I had the biggest comeback of 2019. What you talking about? You thought Basel Tate was done? 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 Listen, we're back with new energy, new vibes, a new set, and more importantly, some new bands. I go by the name of Tay Chaplin, and this is Bands with Tay. Yo, so guys, 2019 has been very eventful, but very uneventful at the same time. I'll tell you a scenario that happened to me recently the other day, right? So I walked into Mr. Biggs. Yes, I still go to Mr. Biggs. And as I walked in, I was feeling fruitful. I was feeling very happy, very bubbly. I was dancing. A very dope song came on, and I was like twirling. And then I started singing the song, and I was like, oh, fuck. R. Kelly, man, is so hard to cancel. Do you know how hard it is for me not to step in the name of love when I love myself so damn much? Do you know how hard it is? Like, it's so difficult. Like, the fact is, he still is canceled. But, you know, I believe I can fly. Listen, it's going to take me some rehab, some therapy, and maybe some Daniel Caesar to get over R. Kelly. But the fact is, he still is canceled. Anyways, on a much brighter note, right? Shout out to Alicia Keys, who is showing women everywhere that makeup is something, but bare face is everything. So, over the weekend, Alicia Keys hosted the Grammys, right? At the beginning of the ceremony, she came on stage with Michelle Obama, the forever first lady, Jada Pinkett Smith, another first lady, J-Lo, Jenny from the block, to open the driest Grammys I have ever watched in my life. Listen, first of all, Childish Gambino, they asked him, may come perform? He said no. Drake, will he perform? He said no. Migos, will he perform? They said no. A lot of people didn't even come. Listen, when Jay-Z and Beyonce throw a Rock Nation brunch, a Rock Nation pre-Grammy brunch, and everyone is there, but no one at the brunch comes to the Grammys, then you know you have an issue, right? Um, in my opinion, the album of the year always goes to some obscure white band that does like some really like weird music with like banjos or something. Um, to prove my points, do you guys know Huskiggy Graves? I thought so. So I always focus on my categories, right? Album of the year, no, song of the year, I apologize. Song of the year, best R&B album, and best rap album, right? The best rap album went to none other than Cardi B, oh, listen. Cardi B, listen, your jazz guy, <laughs> that guy is working over time, man. Listen, it's been three years, nonstop. She has five platinum singles, from her album, Invasion of Privacy, which has gone double times platinum them. And you black people don't want to let her have this shit? Cardi B? Cardi B? Listen, it's fair. The, the album, like the album of the year for like rap, always goes to the most successful album. And in my opinion, um, between Nipsey Hussle, herself, um, Mac Miller, and Pusha T, I think she had the best one, right? Um, she had the most successful album. She had the most revealing album. This was a breakout album as well. I think they need to give it to her. She deserves it, right? Now, apparently Ariana Grande was very pissed off that they gave the award to Cardi B, but then they also invited Mac Miller's family to come, right? And they're like, oh, if you invited Mac Miller's family to come, why didn't you just give them the award? Well, Ariana, I say to you, if you were still in love with Mac Miller, why did you date Pete Davidson? <laughs> He's my guy. He's my guy. And by the way, I'm a big Mac Miller fan, so fuck you if you try to come for me, man. Swimming is a dope album, in my opinion, right? What else happened? So, Travis Scott has continued to defy black people and boundaries by performing at Grammy Awards. He didn't boycott. And before that, he performed at the Super Bowl halftime. In my opinion, Travis Scott is about to be a legend. Let us let him do his legendary shit, right? Um, and the, the fact about it is that Travis Scott has been sitting behind Kanye West, behind Kid Cudi, his whole career, and now this is his time. And listen, if Stormy's daddy doesn't go get that shit, fine, he didn't win a Grammy award, but he's Grammy nominated now. And that will not get you the whole bag, but it'll get you half the bag. Am I right? Am I right? There we go. Get that bag, boy. Speaking of black men doing powerful things, right? Um, did anyone see Drake's acceptance speech for rap song of the year? As to say, look, if there's people who have regular jobs who are coming out in the rain, in the snow, spending their hard-earned money to buy tickets to come to your shows, 
You don't need this right here, I promise you. You already won. Listen, 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 listen. That is what you call end of discussion, right? And the only way you can do that, you have to have three things. Number one, you have to be popular, right? You have to have that clout around you. Number two, you have to be like light skin or, or fine finded. You know, there has to be something. You have to be like facially symmetric, right? Number three, um, you might not want the Grammy support anymore, right? Drake was, he had it. He had it up to here. And he was like, you know what? He walked on stage, he got the Grammy, held it in his hand, he was like, uh, listen guys, uh, if you have any fans that come out for you in the snow and they pay money to watch your show, you don't need this right here. And before he could even finish his sentence, <laughs> the Grammy started playing adverts. Yo, they ended the discussion. Oh, and by the way, I'm sad. I'm really sad, man, because my favorite artist is, is not, it's not rapping my babe. Oh, God. No. Yo, I really, I really hope, when I heard that um, Steph London and Becky broke up, I was heartbroken nuts at all. Like, I was just like, oh my God, this is my chance. Once Bounce with Tay blows, right? <laughs> and then we got to do like Bounce with Tay, like London edition, she's gonna come on and I'm gonna like shoot my shot. Um, but apparently, uh, Brenna Boy had some other plans, right? Um, the, he did like the whole selfie in bed kind of pee, which I thought was trash, in my opinion, because she looked like she was sleeping, but then if she wasn't sleeping and she was in on it, then it's kind of fire, you know? But at the same time, she did reply on her own Instagram story, which is now like a new press release situation now for people. Um, she comes out and she says, oh, he hasn't hit it yet, but yeah, that's big. And I'm like, y'all niggas about to drop a song. Go ahead, drop it. It's gonna be fire though. I like it. Listen, Chris Brown will, will beat upsets up, right? Chris Brown will beat upsets back online, then offline, then on site. Then when he finish, you finish with a backflip kick. You understand? <laughs> and then you go and do a show. Do you know? Do you know who Chris Brown is? See, ladies and gentlemen, there are some people that we know for a fact were born with this kind of guy. The brain, you know, you know, click. You understand? Maybe like one, two, three, five, six is missing. Then nine, ten. That's how Chris Brown is. No one should play with that guy. Apart from the fact that he's one of the most talented individuals on earth. Can we agree to that? Yeah. That guy has the longest arms that I've ever seen in my life. Have you seen him do all this shit? You know, I mean, like, Offset can do all that shit as well. But do you know what would be dope? If they did, like, a dance battle. Yes. That would be dope. You know, Chris Brown will bring like Omarion, you know what I'm saying? And then Offset will come with Migos. Cardi B will do like halftime show, like. Yeah. No? Yeah. No? Oh, by the way, 21 Savage is the reason why Chris Brown and Offset are about to fight. We are in the end of days. Honestly, I feel that way right now. I feel that way right now. I feel like we are living in Bird Box 2. Someone will lose revenge. <laughs> or survival, someone will lose. Listen, my man is everywhere. This guy is in my dreams. Like, listen, this guy, I'm writing, like, or trying to, like, have, like, PPM meetings for, you know, Bans with Tay, and Sao Lu is, like, literally, like, outside the window. Ali was making a snap the other day, and Sao Lu popped up in his snap. Like, what is going on? This is crazy. So this guy has balloons. He has blimps. He has, like, literally, like, 15 feet cutouts that are everywhere. Guys, who is the governor of Lagos State? Oh, oh, cool. Listen, my guy, just stop it, man. Fowls is top five MCs in Nigeria, in Africa. Can we agree? Yes. And on that note, guys, we're on to music bands. Today, we're going to be talking about an album that dropped recently by the one and only Falarin Falano, AKA Faust. The album is called Moral Instruction and this album is fire. Listen, in my opinion, this album is one of the, if not the most compelling rap album that I have listened to from a Nigerian artist. This is not a Nigerian album. This is an album from a Nigerian. Now, first of all, off the bat, heavy samples from the king of Afrobeats, the creator of Afrobeats, Fela himself. 
right? I don't know how he did that, but he did. And also, very, very short album. It's like seven, six tracks, and it is fire. Now, let's go through my favorite cuts, right? Johnny is a dope track, because we all know about JJC, Johnny Just Come. He used that as a perfect analogy to describe us individually and what we're going through in Nigeria, right? Secondly, hypocrite. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite. It's, listen, huh? It speaks for itself, it speaks for itself. The chorus, what's, what's my guy's name, Demi V? Demi V, listen, you did your thing, right? And then Fast came with, listen, look, let me tell you something, I'm gonna put my phone away. Brothers Keeper as well, that is a track you need to check out, right? Um, I need to talk about Fouls, right? Because the fact about it is that Fouls has been breaking barriers and he has been pushing boundaries for the longest time, right? Let's now go back to the fact that Fouls was doing LOB, right? He was one of the first comedians. Can you see, can you see what I'm even trying to say? Like, you understand? He was one of the first rappers that turned comedian, turned back rapper. You understand? A lot of people thought he was a comedian at first, right? Listen, I remember when Fouls was rapping back in England before he came back. Fouls is a dope lyricist, right? So when he came here and he did what he needed to do to get in the industry, it was dope, right? And um, his album, I think, was called 27, which was also dope. One of my favorite Fouls cuts, Chardonnay Music, classic song with Poe and Chen. Shout out to Poe and Chen, right? Now, with this project, I feel Fouls has solidified himself as a top five artist, right? Let us not even play any games. Let's not do that alte, Afrobeats, rapper. Listen, Fouls is a top five artist. Now, to top it off, the icing on the damn cake is the fact that he made a short film for this project, right? Fouls created a short film for his album, Moral Instruction, called Moral Instruction, The Curriculum. Now, if you haven't watched this, shut the fuck up, pause this, go on YouTube, open a new tab, go on YouTube, and then watch it. Then come back and tell me how you feel in the comments right now. Shout out to Wande and Jeezy, who are, oh, listen. Yo, these are, these are, these, these are our boys, right? And not just because we know them and we support them, these guys are doing legendary things. They're also the people that made Fouse's talk video, which is one of the best videos that came out last year, in my opinion, my humble opinion, that is. Uh, this short film is, I can't describe it to you. I feel like you should watch it yourself. First of all, it's in black and white. Second of all, it's based in a secondary school, right? And it just echoes Nigerian sentiment to the point of tears, in my opinion. All right, guys, last but definitely not least, welcome to Playlist 4. This is where we curate music for a particular mood, vibe, or situation, and today, I'm going to help you survive the election, right? Elections are around the corner. Probably you're watching this. You have decided not to vote because you feel like your vote doesn't mean shit. Or you just came back from outside and it's really hot and you want to calm down with some bounce with tape that is on ARTV. So now I'm going to give you some songs that I believe are going to help you through this stressful time, right? The first song comes from none other than the king of Afrobeats himself. Right? The creator of Afrobeats, the creator of Kalakuta, the only person that they threw his mother down from a balcony and he was still performing. One and only Fela Kuti, right? Fela Kuti is a vibe, he's a spirit. He lives in every single Nigerian. The song I want you to listen to is called Coffin for Head of State. Not coughing, but coughing, if you know what I mean. I walk up any village, anywhere in Africa. Pastor's house, nine day fine pass. Idris Abdukarim. Now, he's a goat in his own right, but we all know Idris has his coin scoring coin with the government. And this particular track puts him in trouble with the passenger because it was, listen, when you're banned from NBC, you know you're doing something right or wrong. I'm not particularly sure. Number two on playlist four is Idris Abdul Karim, Jaga Jaga. Check it out. Can you guys remember the tribesmen? 
Because if you can, you remember LD, because he was the forefront. He was the, he was the lead singer of the Trisman. Now it wasn't a boy band, and this song is not a joke. It's called Make I Talk. Make I Yan, Make I Speak My Mind. It's, it's one of the best songs that I've heard and I remember from a very long time ago. Um, it also speaks to injustice and political times. So guys, have a listen to LD, Make I Yan. Can you see me so? Me I go yan, me I go speak my mind. Me I go yan, them things say we blind. Make we yan, why are my people so poor? We can't take this no more. Listen, we were just talking about my guy in the music bands. Fouls, Hypocrites, is one of the best tracks on the project. Now, the chorus itself is lit, Fouls is spitting fire, and in my opinion, this is a song that you should listen to while you're driving to the polling booth to make your vote. Now, if police catch you and they hear anything that Fouls said in your car and they arrest you, it is not taste fault. But listen, Fouls, hypocrites, that's number four. Fucking hypocrite. People just, they do like saying I them be Jesus. People so wicked, but they so religious. Who they calculate, you know they show the figures. Who they demonstrate, where they run, leave us. But since this is our first episode back, I'm going to give you one more song that's two for one for number four, right? Number four, I will also give you... This is Nigeria, right? This is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Look how I'm living now. Look how I'm living now. Everybody be criminal. This is Nigeria. Look how we live in now. Right. Um, on that note, guys, we've come to the end of the episode. Listen, tune in, like, subscribe, do all that shit. But more importantly, listen, your vote counts even if you think it doesn't. Think about it this way. If you don't vote, then you're actually adding to the problem. My name is Tay Chaplin, this is ARTV, and this is Bands with Tay. Catch you guys later. Peace.